So most of you are probably already aware that uh, Dark Sky was picked up by Apple in March of this year, which really kind of sucks. Basically, what's going to happen is you can no longer create new API accounts to be able to access the Dark Sky API. And if you do have one, you only have until the end of next year, 2021, to be able to take advantage of the Dark Sky API. After that, we're going to have to find another weather app. And that's why I'm starting the search today for the new Dark Sky replacement for Home Assistant. So just on looking at the Dark Sky setup in Home Assistant, Dark Sky produces a hundred different sensors. That's a lot of data. It's a lot of information that uh, Home Assistant gets from Dark Sky. Uh, one of my favorite Dark Sky sensors that they have is the ability to see how close a storm is to your location. Uh, I use that with an automation that will send me a a weather radar um, image of my house and basically tell me how far away the storm is. So that's a pretty cool feature. Not sure that we're gonna be able to pull that from any of the other weather components, at least not currently. But we're gonna check a few out and see what we can find. So the first one we're gonna look at today is AccuWeather. The great thing about AccuWeather is that you can add it through the integration section of the web interface of Home Assistant. All you'll need to do is set up a free account on AccuWeather's website. This will allow you to get an API key that you can then use to uh, finish setting up uh, the integration in Home Assistant. We'll kind of walk through this here. If you go to AccuWeather's website, if you don't already have an account, create one. Once you do that, go into the My Apps section under your user settings and then you can add an app. You're gonna to wanna to use the limited trial uh, configuration. I don't know if you need to click on any of the other settings that are here. I chose the weather app down here because I have a feeling that that's gonna be required to access uh, the existing weather API. Once you do all that, go ahead and save it. It will generate an API key that you can then use or copy uh, to use within Home Assistant. All right, so uh, back in Home Assistant, we're in the integration section. We're gonna go ahead and hit that plus down in the bottom corner and look for AccuWeather. It should be right there on top. Select that one. You'll paste in the API key. Everything else should already have in the correct information as far as pulling in your longitude and latitude from Home Assistant. You can change the name if you want to. Once you do all that, go ahead and submit. Now let's jump over to the AccuWeather integration and see what it looks like. So it looks like it creates about six or seven uh, sensors by default, and then it has an additional seven that are disabled by default. But you can also enable those uh, to get the additional information. Definitely not as much information that you get from Dark Sky. Not much in the way of the forecast for the week, which is kind of disappointing but it gives you somewhat of an idea. Let's go ahead and jump over to the next step and check out open weather. Open weather setup is pretty much gonna be the same. Uh, so you can add it in the Home Assistant integration section of the web interface. All you'll need is an open weather API key. We can do that by going over to open weather's website and setting up a free account. Once you do that, then you can go to the API keys section, copy that API key, and that's what you're gonna use in Home Assistant. Again, back in the integration section, uh, you'll hit that plus down in the corner and do a search for open weather. From there, you'll select it, you'll put in the API key. Unfortunately, you'll have to manually enter your longitude and latitude because it doesn't pull that from Home Assistant. I'm not really sure why, it seems like poor setup if you ask me. 
once you have all that information in there, then you can go ahead and submit it. And then let's take a look at the new integration for Open Letter. There's definitely a lot more information here than what we got from AccuWeather. I don't know that it's as much as we get from Dark Sky, but it's a little bit closer. It might be a fairly decent alternative. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the last step and check out one more weather component, the National Weather Service. So just like the first two, this setup's gonna be pretty much the same as well. You'll be able to add the integration straight from the integration section of Home Assistant right there in the web interface. It does say that it requires an API key, but you don't have to create one. You can just use your email address as an API key. So let's jump over to Home Assistant and see if we can't get this component added. Now I already have mine added in Home Assistant, but normally you would hit the plus down in the corner, do a search for the National Weather Service, and then you could add it there. Since we already have it added, we're gonna go ahead and click on it here and I'll show you what that looks like. It only creates two sensors, but when you click on them, there's a lot of data under each one. It pulls in somewhat of a forecast for daily as well as hourly. It's not as much info as you get from the dark sky component, and I don't think it's as much as you get from open weather as well. If I had to choose one of these three, I'm probably gonna go with open weather. I'm not sure that it's equivalent to uh, the dark sky component, but at least it's a little bit closer. Hopefully between now and the end of 2021, they'll come up with a, a better solution. I'd like to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my Teespring merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.